The projected outcomes of overconsumption and the abuse of our earth are dire, especially as we are already consuming 50% more resources than the planet can sustain. Permaculture proposes an easy solution to solve some of the mess that humanity has created for itself, such as shortage of healthy and clean food and water, as well as the destructive imbalance our species has created on our earth and its interconnected and interdependent species. That the global permaculture community is growing every day as more and more people are recognizing the need to change to a more sustainable way of life. This series is going to introduce us to various people who have begun this journey in and around the Makanda region in the Eastern Cape. So permaculture has a lot of very, very good definitions. Um, to my mind, they get a bit too technical. Uh, for me, it's very simple. I design natural systems that interact with one another. The output of one becomes the input of the other. Uh, it's really simple and straightforward. Um, there are so many examples out, out there of, of what we can do from a small scale perspective, how we can uh, regenerate this country's ability to feed itself to a degree that, that I cannot really fathom. Um, yet it's something really old school, it's old fashioned um, and not anywhere near as hard as what people think. But the majority of what we do actually in permaculture is really based on a set of principles and ethics rather than anything else on any scientific basis. But um, with regards to permaculture itself, we do focus upon uh, how one says um, fair share is, is, is critical um, care for the earth is critical um, and care for people is, is critical um, because not only a cultural sense and a, and a sort of environmental sense um, but the ability to actually um, walk away from the buzzwords of sustainability and walk towards more of the the actual collective of being able to develop and um, well, systems and structures that are able to, to actually support um, the kind of the kind of nutritional and healthy living that, that I think everybody's looking for in the day and age um, um, in very very small proximities. Sets of principles and ethics really revolve around establishing um, systems and and structures within um, a, a an environmental setting that not only looks at the 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 issues that we faced with this day and age, predominantly our, our, our significant water um, and energy storage crises, um, but at the self same time, a, a hell of a lot to do with what we're talking about when it comes down to nutritional autonomy and actually being able to give ourselves what we need um, as human beings to survive. Um, less all the chemicals and less all the pesticides and less all the herbicides and in this day and age are really, really the sort of peak points of, of conventional farming practices. Um, and so within permaculture, when we focus on building these systems, we, we really focus on, on, on ethics and, and principles that focus on really mimicking um, the natural environment and the natural systems that already occur um, and, and rather harness the understanding that we have uh, to develop a higher, higher um, output and a higher um, sort of nutritional concept and nutritional requirement and yield from what we grow um, and I think a lot of the time what what permaculture focuses upon is is really trying to bring in together um, the, the, the companionship between different natural elements within within systems just like um, in forests for example you, you'll never find a forest unless it's been man-made or man-planted You'll never find a forest that's only got one or two plants in it. You'll find an entire family, an entire connection between all of these different aspects of natural living. And when you start to admit and accept that these are so supportive in one another's growth and, 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 and development, one can see that if you just take those lessons from nature and put them into a place where you can accelerate the growth of these things purely by mimicking what nature does, we begin to realize how effective these kind of practices can become.
Let's show the world what we can do. Let's show the world that we can look after ourselves. It's not as hard as what people think. It's really just connecting with nature. How many of you have heard about permaculture before? Anyone? <laughs>